I find art very fascinating. This is one of the reasons that I first landed on this Skillshare platform. The work that I have seen on this platform is amazing. I have actually enrolled upon several courses, Amazing Art by Amazing People. What I'm going to do on this platform is not only to learn from professional artists and authors, but also to share legal aspects of, of those works with these authors and creators of this work. So welcome to this course and thank you for your interest. Now imagine the situation where an artist or a creator has hardly started earning any revenues from his course that they are handed a copyright infringement notice. Now what would be the result of that notice or any prospective litigation? The morale of the author or creator is going to go down the hill no matter what skills and expertise that creator and artist have in that subject that can simply be damaging for his or her reputation. My name is Tufel Hussain. I'm a barrister and I'm a principal legal researcher at Law Academy Online. I have master's level qualifications in corporate and business law. I've also written several articles and several books for students and for the members of the general public. I'm also a newspaper columnist. Now on this course, I am going to take practical approach and share with you practical steps that you need to take and that you should be aware of. There are several issues around copyright law. Copyright law is notoriously complex and sometimes by the time the cases and the copyright litigation goes to court, usually it is too late. This course will help you to minimize the risk of any copyright litigation. Either you are the one who might be the claimant or the one against whom there might be a claim of copyright infringement. Now, have you got questions similar to this? Do you think that the copyright notice in itself is enough to protect your copyrights? If this is what you think, you need to think again. This is not the case. Second, if you believe that you have to make deliberate attempt or, or proper intention to infringe somebody else's copyrights only then claim of copyright infringement can be successful against you then again you you can be wrong this is a matter of strict liability we are gonna discuss this case the scenario in the course third for example if you believe that there is a certain part say five percent or ten percent of certain article is fine that's something that should be allowed if you think this is the case again if you are not sure about any of these issues then you should take this course several reasons again why it is important to know about the copyright basics to know about the possible def defenses and to know about the practical approaches that the court might take in your specific case now this course obviously is, is not a place to cover everything in the course but this course is definitely introduce you to the basic concepts and the approach that is taken by the courts. Several reasons to take this course. First, commercial content. If you are generating or creating a commercial content, it means you are working in the most risky area. You have already set yourself up where a court can take from the start a point a kind of negative point that goes against you that since this is a commercial content that is being created any copyright infringement will be looked at seriously although there might be some free courses for education purposes only but remember even if the content is free but that content is actually helping you to increase your revenues to increase your student and you're gaining commercial benefits then this may not be looked at favorably by the courts Second, strict liability. That is, even if you are innocent, even if you did not make any deliberate attempt to infringe somebody else's copyright, you may still be responsible for this. Although, this can result in reduced damages against you if the case is taken against you, but you will nonetheless be held liable for copyright infringement despite all your innocence. Third, that the governments are taking strict approach uh, against copyright infringement and lobbies are pushing go United States government so that the the people who infringe copyright are made a lesson for other people representatives of different organizations um, organizations of photographers artists creators designers they are continuously lobbying for, for this and government and agencies are very active in in pursuing those wherever there are issues of copyright infringement found fourth 
that there is so much information available over the internet that just like a, we are breathing information, there are chances that if you are working on some courses, especially if there are set curriculum in your course, the chances are that your contents may match with elsewhere, rightly or wrongly. Somebody may take that case against you. Then the most serious one is the criminal sanctions. It's not just about damages. It's not just about civil liabilities or monetary compensation. There are serious consequences especially if you are creating a commercial content. The courts look at the commercial content unfavorably. If, for example, there is an issue of copyright infringement and it seems from the case that yes, copyright infringement might have taken place. There are heavy fines and there is also a lengthy imprisonment sentences for copyright infringement. This course has been designed from both parties' point of view, from the parties who claim against the infringers and the people who are defendants against whom the copyright infringement has been claimed. So you can balance what is it that is going to benefit you from this course because it is from both points of view. Now please remember that if something is not protected by copyright, that might be protected by patent or that might be protected by trademark. But since that is not the subject of this course, I'm not going to discuss patent or trademark. I'm going to discuss copyright law here. You should also need to know that this course is not a legal advice in any way. This is for information and education purposes. If you have got any specific problem, please do consult a legal or non-legal professional for your specific and individual issues. Thank you for your interest and I see you on the other side uh, for in our next uh, first class.